Hey guys, this lesson we're going to introduce Tony Pi PC software. Firstly, connect to VNC Romo desktop and double click Tony Pi to start it. Click run in the pop up window. Now, what we can see is the main interface of Tony Pi PC software. It consists of four parts. This part is Servo Operation Area. This part is Action Data List. This part is Action Group Setting Area. This part is Servo Deviation Setting Area. After introducing the main interface of Tony Pi PC software, I will introduce you how to drag the corresponding slider to adjust the servo position. This area includes 16 sliders, which corresponds to the servos on Tony Pi except the servo on the head. Currently, we can see that all the servos value is 500. For better performance, it is recommended to set Tony Pi in stand stance. When Tony Pi is in stand extends, not all the servo values are 500. Therefore, we need to adjust the position. Firstly, click button Open Action File and find the stand file. Click Open. Now, the action data was displayed in action data list. Click the black triangle to update the servo values in servo operation area. Now, drag slider to control servo. When we drag sliders, the corresponding servo will rotate synchronously. Please do not drag the slider too fast and observe the current slider of Tony Pi. If you drag the slider corresponding to the servo on Tony Pi's feet, you need to hold Tony Pi to prevent it from falling. There is a tip for you. When we place the mouse cursor on the side of the slider, you can right click to adjust the servo value slightly. How can we save the data after adjusting? We can click button Add Action to record current state of Tony Pi and display the in action data list. Now we can continue to address the servo value. Then click button Add Action. The new action will be added at the last line. If you want to delete one of actions, you can select corresponding action and then click button delete action. Okay, let's execute the whole action group. Place the mouse cursor in front of the first action and then click button run. If you click loop, action group will be run repeatedly. I think the left hand should raise a little bit higher than before, so that I need to adjust it. Therefore, execute the second action to update the servo data in servo operation area firstly. Then, we can drag slider to adjust servo data or modify the value under the slider. Click update action. We can find that the value of servo ID7 has been updated to action data list. We can also double click the corresponding servo data in action data list to modify it. I will insert an action as transition. Now click the third action and then click button insert the action. Modify time to 500 milliseconds. Click button update action. These two buttons Action upward and action downward can switch the order in which the action is called. Here is the function menu. When we click button menu, the joints of Tony Pi will loosen. The function writes angle can get the angle feedback and display the action data list. Click button save action file. We must name the action group in English. Please know that the action group must be saved in action groups folder. Open action file function is to open the action group and modify it. The integrate files functions will be explained in the following video. 
of the saving action group. We can click action leave to form it. Except the attitude action before the remand action group example action group. You can select it to run. For example, I select the action group wave here, then click button run action. TonyPad will execute the wave action. If you click button stop, TonyPad will stop running the action. The button erase single can erase the current selected action group. The function beside erase single is all erase. It can delete all the action group of TonyPad, and the action group cannot be restored. The last part is servo deviation setting area. After learning how to operate TonyPy PC software, you can go to the next lesson to learn how to program action group. Okay, this is the end of the video. Please keep watching the following video. Thank you.